Hello, this is Erez from Download Squad, and today we're going to be looking at a tool WinZip just released. Uh, it's called System Utility Suite, and it's an entirely new direction for the company. It's not about compression, it's about getting your PC to work right, and as they say, uh, keep the zip in the PC. So, uh, as you can see, it's a fairly rich interface with lots and lots of options, but what's nice is that the home uh, row also has start smart pc care that's just a huge green button that you can just click on and i'm just running uh through this the first time myself so that we can see what the system does on a uh non-previously cleaned pc this is just my actual pc it's not a virtual machine so we're going to be uh seeing what kind of impact it has so it lets me select uh what i can do clean junk data defrag the hard drive we're not going to do that Clean hidden privacy, um, scan for outdated and required drivers, clean registry errors, optimize registry for better performance. Okay, that sounds good. So we're going to start the scan now. And we can look at the speed that it's running. It's kind of slow, but the computer is quite cluttered. And I'm recording the video, which is taking away some of the resources as well. You can see it running through my hard drive. And I'm just going to edit this bit out, so I'll see you in a moment. All right, so the scan is done. And now we can take a quick look at uh, what was found. So uh, first thing it found is a ton of junk files. And we, if we go to the details, you can see these are many temporary files from all sorts of places all over the uh, hard drive, like whatever, uh, JEdit cache, uh, Opera cache, Windows temp files, everything. It basically just found a whole bunch of uh, temporary files that can be removed. Um, next is a security-related scan for uh, privacy concerns. And here we can see it found uh, wrong command history and some browser histories and um, cookies, etc. What's interesting is that in messengers, it found no traces despite me uh, using uh, Miranda Messenger on a daily basis. So I guess that's a bit of a niche product, which is why uh, I didn't uh, find anything, but I do have a ton of logs. Um, and also it found nothing in Office, which is interesting because I do use Office, but maybe the way I use Office is more uh, secure. Um, I can only guess. Okay, next is, this is a very interesting part because um, WinZip actually maintains a manual uh, database of drivers. They have actual people uh, going through manufacturer driver updates and just maintaining an internal database with all the download locations and versions and update dates, etc. So this tool can instantly tell you if any of your drivers are uh, outdated. And it saves you a ton of time. You don't have to go to the manufacturer website and try to find the download you need and see if it was updated, etc just uh, does that for you, which is very nice. And by the way, this these are all updates that Windows Update did not cache. So, because Windows Update does sometimes uh, update the drivers, but not in this case. Next, a ton of registry errors that I can also drill deeper into. So it gives me very fine-grained control over what I want to delete or not, etc. So now that I'm done and I can see all the stuff it found, I can just click Optimize. And it tells me your system will be rebooted to complete the optimization process. Please save your work and press yes to continue or no to cancel. So I'm going to pause at this point and we're going to pick it up from after the reboot. And I'm back after the reboot. So what the computer did during the reboot was the registry optimization. And it went back up and now you can see that pretty much everything is uh, checkmarked. I did not defrag my drive and I did not uh, use the backup option because I have another backup solution, but that's it. So basically it's a very, very easy to use tool. It just requires literally uh, two or three clicks to optimize your entire system. And uh, feel free to give it a shot. By the way, we are running a giveaway of 10 copies of this new tool. So uh, go ahead and uh, check the post. Thank you.